Drake has got the sauce. Now, some allegations came out over the weekend of involving Drake, an Instagram model, and hot sauce. Now, it sounds like a weird combination, right? The Instagram model is alleging that Drake caused injury to her female anatomy by causing hot sauce to be put in her now, this sounds kind of weird, right? So let's break it down. So what she's alleging is that they met at a party or a club or something. They decided to go back to his room. Everything was consensual. She has said that everything was consensual, that he made sure that she consented to everything. He went into the bathroom. He came out with a condom on his orifice. Now, what happened next is they did the deed. Everything was fine. That's okay. Everything was done. He gets done. He goes to the bathroom. He comes back out. She goes into the bathroom and starts screaming. Now, allegedly what happened was Drake was trying to protect his seed. He was trying to protect the intellectual property of his seed, making sure that he does not have any new baby mamas and he wanted to kill the semen. He allegedly has heard that hot sauce will kill the semen inside of a condom, making it ineffective. Now, Apparently what happened was he went into the bathroom, put hot sauce in the condom, tied it up, threw it away. The IG model went in after him, opened up the condom and tried to pour it inside of herself, seemingly to impregnate herself with Drake's semen. When it came in contact with her surface and, and with, it, with her in general, um, it obviously burned. It's hot sauce, right? And so she started screaming. Now she's alleging that she has suffered not only emotional, but some severe physical damage due to that being caused to put inside of her. Now, apparently she is going to be pursuing some sort of legal action, a lawsuit. And that calls into question, what is Drake's potential liability when it comes to a negligence action on this suit? So there are four elements to negligence. There's duty, breach, causation, and damages. Now the first is duty. You have a general duty not to harm others. It's, it's a general duty placed on every reasonable person that you know, hey, you just can't go around just beating the shit out of people or hurting somebody, right? So you have a general duty not to cause any harm to anybody. Um, and, and certainly when it comes to uh, sexual partners, you have a duty to make sure everything's consensual, which it was here, and just to make sure that nobody is harmed during the act. I don't know, it doesn't seem like anybody was harmed during the act, but you could probably, she could probably argue that there was some sort of duty to ensure that she was not harmed at all in his presence. Uh, it, it, it's not a very strong duty argument, but it could be there. Um, now, breach. Breach could, um, you know, come into play where, you know, hey, he breached that duty by her becoming injured. Um, so, you know, there's, there's an argument that she could make that he had a duty to make sure that she was not injured. He had a duty not to injure her and that, that he breached that duty by pouring hot sauce into his condom. Um, third is causation. Now this is where it might get a little tricky for her. Um, did Drake actually cause her injuries? It doesn't appear so, right? He put a, he put the hot sauce in the condom, tied the condom up and threw it into the trash can. Now, when a jury is gonna be looking at this, they're gonna look at the reasonable person standard. Would Drake have reasonably thought that she was going to take the condom and try to insert it inside of her in order to become impregnated? I, you know, there's a good argument that yes, he was trying to kill his semen. He, he tied up the condom and he left it in an area that she could readily access. Obviously this has happened before where girls have tried to impregnate themselves after the fact when he has worn some sort of prophylactic protection. So it could be argued that, that he could reasonably tell by the situation and by past experiences that she might try to get pregnant after the fact. And that by putting hot sauce in there, he could reasonably foresee that that might cause an injury by her putting that inside of her and that he breached his duty um, to her and, and the causation was, hey, the hot sauce was in there, it caused the injuries. Um, damages could range anywhere from medical bills to emotional damages. 
Do I really think that she has a strong case? I don't. I don't think she has a strong case because a reasonable person doesn't go and dig condoms out of a trash can to try to falsely impregnate themselves without somebody else's consent. Um, but on the flip side, she probably has enough to get over a 12B6 motion, which is a motion for summary judgment, um, or, or a 12B1 where, where there's no jurisdiction or, or some, you know, somewhere along those lines, Drake, if there's a lawsuit, Drake's gonna make the argument that there's no case here. Um, he's gonna say that there's no facts to support the case, but I think that she might survive a 12B motion and, and she might get some sort of money out of him through a settlement. Um, it's a wild story, right? Did, you know, here, I have a lot of questions. Did Drake actually think that, um, you know, that, that hot sauce would kill the semen or was he doing that to test her to see if, uh, she was going to try to impregnate herself? Um, it's a, it, it's a complicated issue and, you know, uh, big stars, um, they, they kind of have these issues, right? I've heard stories before of women trying to impregnate themselves. Um, just so that they can be associated with that person and potentially get some sort of monetary value out of it through child support or something similar. Um, and, you know, people target high profile celebrities in order to sue them because, you know, most suits, 90% of suits don't go to trial. They settle before trial because litigation is very expensive. Um, in this case, you know, she could probably file suit. She might be able to survive a, a you know, initial motion to dismiss. And, you know, she'll probably get some settlement money out of Drake. Any, either way, I would say don't do this. You put yourself um, in, in one, you know, if you're the person that's putting the hot sauce in there, there might be some sort of liability. And if you're a woman, um, I, I would not uh, advise you to go into a trash can, dig a condom out, and, and try to impregnate yourself. Um, get their permission first. You know, let's, let's have this mutual and consensual all the way through. Hey, thanks for joining me. Uh, this is a wild story. Please like, subscribe, and share, and um, we'll keep following this Drake story through the end because it is saucy.